Good morning. It is Charlotte McCullough. I told you all earlier this week that I'll be coming on every day until my birthday, which is Monday. I'll be 45 years old. Excited about that. All big energy around that, around this birthday and all that stuff. So today I want to talk to you all about one of my transparent moments. One of the things that I've learned, one of the things that I've really, really, really had to really put some effort towards understanding and that is friendships. What are friendships? What are relationships? So like I told you all yesterday and the day before, I'm not coming on today as an expert. As you all know that I'm a licensed mental health counselor. That's not what I'm on today. Today, I just want to talk to you about me in a transparent moment. Just one of the things that I've learned, a few things that I've learned about friendships. So most of us know we started, we start, um, developing friendships and things like that early on in our life like when we were like children very young young age five six years old there are a number of people that I talk to that tell me I remember my friends from when I was five six seven eight nine ten years old from first grade all the way up to you know graduation I remember those people in my life and all that well I'm one of those people I don't remember all those friends from back then um however I do remember the friends from like middle school high school, college, and just after college. And some of those people I don't talk to anymore. And it's not because we just don't talk because we just grew apart. We just had a big falling out. We had an argument about something or we had a disagreement about something. And it was this mutual agreement that we're just not going to talk no more. We're just not good for each other in the friendship department. So my transparent moment, I've learned about friendships. I haven't always been a very good friend either. I've had moments where I've like totally disregarded feelings and just ignored things and stuff like that. Just a bad friend. I've, I've, I can admit that at this age, I can really admit I'm not the perfect friend or I'm not the person that's perfect that have all the answers when it comes to friendships. But the thing that I've learned in these 45 years is that you don't have to fall out with everybody. I'm a person, I'm very straightforward, very direct, and what I feel, I would normally say that. And if I feel like you violated me, I will let you know that. But early on in my life, I didn't have the tools. I didn't understand that things that people do to me that trigger me or that piss me off, it's not always intentional. And that I also had the power to talk to them about that and make a request to change that or to let them know. But sometimes when we don't have those tools or we're not mature in that area emotionally, the best thing for us that feels comfortable is to cut the person off. Just say, I'm not talking to you no more. I don't need to talk about it. Everything is not a 10. That's the thing that I've learned. Everything is not a 10. Every violation, every trigger that I felt from someone that I had a friendship with, it wasn't a 10. But because I was emotionally full or I just didn't have the tools or I didn't understand or I didn't even know my own power that I can say something about that versus just cutting them off and just falling out and just saying I don't talk with them no more, avoid them and all those things. And now I understand that it's not always about falling out. Now, some friendships, depending on how egregious the violation is, those friendships do need to be cut, but not all friendships need to be cut. Sometimes you have to just focus on adjusting the closeness. Okay, maybe we were very, very close, but now because of life, because of things that have happened or the way that I feel or their outlook, we're just not as close, but we're still nice to each other. We still love each other. We still have things in common that we can talk about. It's not such a violation when I see them, I roll my eyes or I see them, I go to another place. So if I come up to a party or an event and they're there, I have to leave. It's not always about that. And I just want to encourage you, if you are experiencing that, or if you are the woman that is always, you're always falling out with people, you're always having conflict with people, I will just encourage you to really look within, have some self-reflection and understand the issue may not be the people, the issue may be you. And remember this, whenever there is a pattern of something, you have the power to make a change. Patterns mean there is a choice being made by somebody, whether it's a positive pattern or a negative pattern. You still have the choice to control, control that. I'm not telling you that everyone who has violated you, everyone that you feel they're just not for you, that you need to connect with them or just adjust the closeness. That's not what I'm saying. 
What I am saying to you is, if you have a rash of fallouts with so many people, the issue may be you. You know, really understanding how to reflect, how to look within and find out. What is it? You might not like being close to people. That might be an issue for you. You may like having friendships at a distance and that's okay. But how do you articulate that to the people that love you and the people that want to be close to you? You know, so thinking about your communication, what are you thinking? When people violate you, your only go-to is not falling out. I had to learn that because early in my life, that's what felt safe, just falling out, cutting you off, just don't talk to you no more. No, not everybody. You can't fall out with everybody because you look, turn around, and you don't have nobody there. And it's not about you need people or you got to have people in your corner. No, you do need friends. You do need a support system. We are created for connection. I'm not saying that every day you get up, you got to talk to somebody, you got to call, you got to get permission, you got to get validation. No, I'm saying, what about those times you just want to chill out? You just want somebody to like you for you. You want somebody to connect with you based on who you are, not what you do professionally, not what you have, not material things that you have, not the resources that you have, but someone that connects to you because they genuinely like you. They genuinely enjoy your company and who you are and what you have to share. So again, for me, this transparent moment is about friendships. I had to learn just because someone violates me, just because we have a difference in belief systems, just because we have a disagreement, it doesn't always mean there's a break in the friendship, you know, and understand that all relationships don't turn into friendships. And I had to understand that. Some people I have a relationship with and it's just strictly professional. Some people I have a relationship is strictly on clothing. Some people I have a relationship is strictly on business. It's strictly on different topics or different things that we have in common. And that's what our relationship is centered around. Some of those relationships, they're not going to turn into friendships. But I was the person that I want all my relationships to turn into friendships. When I call them, when I text them, when I need them, I'm expecting them to show up. And if they don't, I'm falling out with you. Nah, it's not everybody's responsibility to regulate me and to make me feel comfortable. I have to do that. I have the power to do that. And now that I have that belief system, now that I have a difference, now that I totally see friendships and relationships different, I have, for me, more quality relationships with people, more genuine and authentic relationships. I can really show up as who I am and not having to be this person over here today and be this person tomorrow and turn around and be this person. I can always show up as Charlotte McCullough. And that has been peaceful for me. That has made a world of a difference for me. And I look around now, I have a lot of quality people in my life and I treat them with respect, love, genuineness, and I receive that as well. Of course, there are some that I do have to address things with, but in a respectful manner. It's not always about going off. Just because you're bold enough to go off, it doesn't mean that you need to go off all the time. Just because you are bold enough to say whatever it is on your mind is not always necessary. And I had to learn that because my alert system go off around disrespect. And when that happens, it's like all... Oh, bets are off and I need to just go in and let you know. But I had to learn that. In these four to five years, that is something that I'm still mastering. I have not mastered it, but I'm still learning that and still tweaking it um, every day. And as I get gain new relationships, I'm tweaking it and getting to know who the people are that are in my friendship circle. Who are the people in my business circle? Who are those people? And how do we click? How do we work together? You know, and understanding who they are. But that has taken some work. That That's not the way that I've been all my life. But these are just transparent moments I want to come on and just share with you all. Nothing fluff, nothing made up, but just come on and just share with you all. And I hope that these transparent moments bring some things to your consciousness that you need to work on or bring to your consciousness some things that you've changed in and you're not the person that you used to be. And as years are going on for you and as you're gaining more and more years here on earth, you're understanding that you're maturing and changing. Hope that you all have a fantastic day. Talk to you all soon. Bye.